Hello everyone, in this class we are going to discuss about BPDU guard. See here, this device, this port, fast ethernet 0 by 1 is connected to the end device. End device is a, our computer, laptop, server, scanner, printer, that is nothing but end device. So this port fast ethernet 0 by 1 is connected to end device. We enable before port fast so it will not go in listening learning. They will do forwarding. And one more thing here, imagine this guy is a attacker. He connected your Ethernet card and he is using the Kali Linux or any other software to send you the fake BPDU. Sending the fake BPDU to this switch. So this switch will make like uh, they will have the hello every two seconds they will send the BPDU and this guy will send and they will receive and maybe this guy will send the superior BPDU and this guy will become as a root bridge and all the traffic will go through this device. To save these types of attack in the organization, what we will do, we can enable in the port, the port which is connecting to axis uh, like end devices. In the axis layer, whatever port is connecting to the end devices, we can enable in that interface as a BPDU guard. BPDU guard, we can enable that. So what we are going to do there, we are going to do the BPDU guard. We are going to enable the BPDU guard under this interface. So if anyone is sending the BPDU, this port is going to block that one. They are not going to accept that BPDU. Because this machine can send the BPDU. So what we can say is spanning tree BPDU guard is a security feature that protects a network from rogue switch. It does this, uh, does what we can say, it do the uh, protection by blocking that interface. You can uh, reproduce in your own words. So in short, we can say we need to secure our network and if anyone is sending the what we can say the fake BPDU, we need to block that one. So how we can configure that one? Let's see that. Okay. So before that one, first of all, I will show you. See here, imagine this is the another guy. This I taken switch, but imagine this is another guy, a hacker. You went to uh, your home after working hours. This guy come after working hours and he connected your Ethernet cable to his machine and he is sending some BPDU. So he will send some BPDU after some time it will start working. Okay, after some time it will start working. If you see, they will send the BPDU, this port is not blocked. Because we did not enable the BPDU guard. So what I will do, I will enable the BPDU guard, then we will see when we connect it will not work. Now, when I connect this to the attacker or the switch, Switch is sending the BPDO and it is working. This port is working, no issue. Okay, this port is working, no issue. Everything is good here. The port go up, everything is working fine. So what we need to do now, we need to enable the BPDO guard. So if anyone is trying to send the BPDO, this port should block that one. So how we can enable, just go under that switch. And which port you need to enable, you need to enable fast Ethernet 0 by 1. So what I can do, I can go under that interface, fast Ethernet 0 by 1. I will go in the global configuration mode. I will go here, fast Ethernet 0 by 1. Here we can enable, we can write spanning tree. Okay, and BPDU guard enable. So with this command, we enable the BPDU guard. Now if you want to save, you can write save the configuration. We enable the BPDU guard in fast Ethernet 0 by 1. Imagine after working hours, you left your office the attacker came and he is connecting his machine he is connecting his machine when he connect his machine this switch will take some time after that he block that one if you see it is blocked now why it is blocked because bpdu guard is enabled here this machine is sending the bpdu so this machine say i have the guard here guard will wait and he will check if anyone is sending the bpdu he is going to block that one so now it is blocked okay now it is blocked so we cannot send and if you see here what we are getting here we are getting error here bpdu guard receive the bpdu on the port fast ethernet 0 by 1 with the bpdu guard enabled so what he done he disabled that interface okay and put in the error disable if you want to check you can write do show ip interface brief and you can see this port they put down okay the first one fast ethernet 0 by 1 i am saying this one they move this port as a dawn. Why? Because BPDU guard is enabled here and someone is sending the BPDU. No one should send to that particular interface as a BPDU because end machine is connected there. So this way we can protect that one. 
so next day you come to your office and you check it is not working you inform to it guy it guy will go to that interface and he will write shut and no shut then your device will start working okay first he will do shut he will do the interface down and he will write no shut then this interface will start working if you see here this will start working so what we learn here we learn here how to enable the bpdu guard why we are enabling the bpdu guard if you don't want to receive in this interface any bpdu so what you will do bpdu so you will enable the bpdu guard here if you don't want to receive any bpdu in this interface then you will enable the bpdu guard and generally where we are enabling wherever our end device is connected in that interface we are enabling the bpdu guard you need to remember that one okay so stp spanning tree protocol in that one we have this topic bpdu guard i hope you watch that one okay thank you bye